Hello, welcome everybody to Croydon Vision's Facebook Live event. I hope you're all safe and well and ready to be creative. So today we're going to do a bit of a craft. And, but just before, let me remind you, I, and I hope you enjoyed last week's, we had cooking with Aisha. They did uh, yummy pancakes. So I hope you managed to, to try out the recipe and enjoyed them at home too. So today we have Marsha. Marsha, hello. 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 Um, do you want to maybe introduce yourself and say what you what you what you do at Croydon Vision when there's not the lockdown? Yes. Um, I am an arts uh, and craft facilitator and uh, a teacher, and uh, we do we have. Um, fine art where you paint yeah um a class for that and then we have arts uh, and crafts where you make things so it can be anything from crocheting to uh, making mosaics to something that we are going to be doing out of egg boxes today oh fantastic and and Marsha, what what do, before we start and we'll be chatting a little bit what kind of materials do people need to prepare so that like that people have a few minutes to go and gather things um to do the craft today what what what, what do we need okay so uh first of all you need a pair of uh, well you're you're holding it up now yeah. so first of all you, you need egg boxes yeah very egg boxes and um what you can uh then a pair of scissors scissors yeah good so i can see that you have some uh crayons there. yes i have a, some pastels crayons yeah, uh, and some felt tip pens yes also you can use either of those today yeah. i'm actually going to be using uh um uh, paint paint so, so like i've got acrylic paint here yeah yeah so people Just can have easier. that yeah it's uh, uh because crayons will take a little time to fill all of the little um yeah bits egg boxes in so i'm going to go for paint and the yeah. ones i'm using today are acrylic yeah i might yes. i might be doing polka dots rather than a sort of exactly you can do or polka lines dots. or or yeah rather than maybe coloring it all up so we need something to color whether it's paint yeah. felt paint crayon uh whatever people have at home mm -hmm. um an egg box and would you say a, 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 a kind of a paper a cardboard egg box is better Ah uh, yes, yeah. um, the the egg boxes they normally come away in cardboard, don't they? Uh, not plastic. Plastic are going to be very hard to to, to, to colour then, yeah. Uh, so that that's and then what you need. This is optional, of course, yeah. but uh, you need two uh, bowls. I will explain why two different uh, size bowls. Um, because what I, we are going to be doing is we are going to do a wreath. Uh, out of them so you're going to cut them out so you need a um, uh, some card some card yeah um, and you can either cut it out so you don't necessarily need the bowls but you, if you can cut a circle out or something that's resembling a circle yeah uh, with a hole in the middle like a donut like a donut <laughs> yay yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah so think of a wreath you know so you know round or if you don't want to do that, you can also have, um, I have pre-cut card here and it's, um, it's uh, in, a, in a shape of, well, it's a rectangle basically with a yeah. hole in the middle. You can also use that. It's like a, almost like a picture frame. Oh, in yes. Fact, yeah. Picture. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it will all become clear and do people need any uh cello tape or string glue. or we need some glue glue okay you can use cello tape right today i'm also going to be for just for the fastness of it and for the the easiest way to do this is i'm using a glue gun now oh, i don't know yes. if anybody has a glue gun no. or not no. but there are 
There are glue guns which are hot. Yes. And there's also glue guns for people who can't see very well and don't want to get their fingers burnt. There's cold glue guns. Oh, I it didn't know that. Oh, right. Yeah, you can invest in, in a in a cold glue gun, and that way you don't burn your fingers. And, and the could beauty you... about glue gun is it sticks instantly. Yeah. Could you buy a cold glue gun at Hobby Craft? Would they sell yes, that kind can. of thing? Or Amazon. Okay. So you tap in cold glue gun. Yeah. And something should should come should up. Should come up. <laughs> the reason why I'm I'm doing this, you can do this with glue, of course. Any type of glue that sticks paper. Yes. You have some some glue here. Yeah. I have some white glue, but you have to wait until it dries. Right. So, so really, Marsha, what, what, what you're going to do is that you're going to get us going. We're going to start it off. And obviously, people can then uh, learn a bit and then continue to build on it after exactly. the session. Exactly. Ex also, one more thing to speed up the drying. If you want to speed up your drying, either put it on the radiator when you paint. Yes. Or use a hair dryer ah yes good That's idea another, thing. Uh, another tip that i have i have a few tips for for the the crafters uh to when you're painting um because it's quite intricate i am using a clothes peg to hold ah. the flowers okay so your fingers yeah. do not get dirty of course you can use a plastic glove right which or quite a few people have nowadays. Because, oh yes, yeah. You know, bring that to the shops, and I've got my my plastic yeah. glove over here as well. But the close peg is very useful because you can you can hold it and you yeah. can turn it, so yeah. you can do all the bits. Ah, oh, interesting. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. That's another one of my yeah. my yeah. tips. So, um, is that about all that people need for today? That's it. Well, obviously, paints with paints you need brushes Brush, and bit of water. Uh, I have a uh, I have my brushes set here. Yeah. Um, don't forget if you only got one brush, don't forget to wash it out regularly. So if you're using blue, for example, and you're going to go onto yellow, you <laughs> must wash it very well because otherwise it's all going to turn green. green. <laughs> yes, yes. So you have to be careful about that. Now, um, palette. What I'm using here is I had, I think there were cupcakes. It's a plastic palette with uh, little round bits, circular round bits, mm -hmm. which I didn't chuck away because I thought that would be a really good palette. You can, of course, use takeaway containers as well. So you, mm. don't, you don't need to buy, to a buy palette. one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, 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 maybe, and maybe if, if people are using the paint, just make sure you don't wear your best clothes. So Absolutely. make sure you kind of protect yourself. <laughs> yes, don't wear your be best clothes. <laughs> so that is, I think, okay. that is all Fantastic. I have on my list of important stuff. Okay, well, Marsha, we're going to leave a few minutes for people to go and collect things. And, and while they're doing that, we're going to chat a little bit. All right. Okay. So, Marsha, how, how long have you been sort of coming to Croydon Vision to do the craft and the art? I have been in Croydon Vision since 2003. Wow, a long time. Fantastic. A long time. Quite a long time. And, uh, and what, during that time, could you kind of maybe tell us just a few kind of... Uh, works that, that people have, have done because often, you know, when people become blind or visually impaired, they think that's the end. They think, oh, well, I can't see, I can't do craft anymore, I can't paint anymore. So, so how do people kind of uh, get around that? Well, we have all sorts of, to, to start off with, we, we work out, we sit down together and we yeah. work out what, um, uh, what the condition is yes and uh various things like we have uh, lights to help people yeah we also have magnifying glasses yeah um various i i'm there sometimes people find it's very hard to tell the colors of paint yes yes so you know various colors and that is my job yeah where i come and i i help yes. work out and uh also if we have a palette we shall organize, we organize paints um, so, so people know exactly where they are. So yellow yes. is on the left side, green is on the right side, yeah. etc. Fantastic. So we can do that. 
also three dimensional things. So it's not necessarily that you're painting. So mm -hmm. sometimes you are making things out of card, out of paper. So you can we feel have, them. Yeah. Yeah. We have mosaics mm. where you, you know, you, you don't really need that much eyesight. You need to feel things. Fantastic. So we have various, various things like that. We have also done in the past, we've uh, had galleries and exhibitions. Ah, whereabouts? In Croydon? Sorry? Did you, did you actually do exhibitions of, 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 of the work that comes out of yeah. Croydon Vision? And yeah. did you go out and in the community? Was it out or was it in Croydon Vision? It, and we, were, we had uh, exhibitions inside in, in, uh, in the hall. Yeah. We also had exhibitions in the library uh, and various exhibition spaces around, in and around. Fantastic. Croydon. I hope uh, we'll be able to do some more soon. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, yeah. I really hope so. Excellent. And, and one thing I wanted to say is that we, we, we now, this is for the viewers, we now, um, we've commissioned Marsha to do a, 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 de a decorative panel a painting to decorate our coffee lounge and the, the theme of it is I can we can so the idea is that uh, as a blind or visually impaired person you can still do a lot of things and, and that you, you, you're kind of on a journey, on a discovery of, so how can I do, a bit, a bit like we were talking now, how can I do art if I'm blind, but how can I then go and do sports and hobbies and, and live my life and, and have fun and, and discover and learn new things. So we, what we want from you viewers is um, ideas of, of what Marsha could, could put in this painting uh, what, or what, what you think it should represent what, what sort of all different ideas do you think it should be in 3d do you think it should be flat do you think uh, what do you think what kind of sort of ideas do you think that we should consider so the main theme is I can we can so um, do type in the comments and do try and uh, give us some ideas Marsha you, you must have some ideas of yourself yourself do you want to maybe uh, tell us a little bit what, what you think we, you might be put in well uh, to start off with obviously it has to encompass people it has to yes. have um, well we were, we, we were thinking of maybe you know somebody in a circle holding hands yeah with, um, uh, encompasses togetherness yes yes and which is very important for Croydon Croy Vision because Absolutely. we are all in this together. Absolutely. Um, that's one of the things. Another thing that was suggested to me uh, only the other day is we need the colour blue in there. Okay. So, so that's one of the, de those are yes. just the starters. But to be honest, um, I would really like to, to hear other ideas because, you know, it's we so need input. We need ideas. We feeling, you yes, know, uh, and looking at this painting. Yeah. Um, we were also thinking of um, taking it, taking the um, uh, the braille and using braille so people who can't see. Yes. Uh, we'll be able to feel the painting. Okay. Very interesting. Uh, so something some... something that's three dimensional. <laughs> yes. Yes. So oh, they can actually feel it. So yeah. it's going to be a a piece of art yes. that's also visually appealing. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Um, and also tactile. Uh, that's a really excellent idea. Ola, do we have any comments coming in? Uh, we have a member saying, um, saying the bro is a great idea. Saying, um, you can also use uh, the Core Division app. That's one of the comments that we have. Okay, using Croydon Vision, the logo, the name. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, that's good. We'll uh, we'll write all these comments up uh, later on, um, great, and we'll send them to why you. I can remember all of this. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And and viewers, please, if you don't have any ideas now, but something comes to you in the middle of the night, do do um, 
do write them in to, to Croydon Vision, to our, to our email address or phone in. Uh, let us know your ideas. The more ideas we have, you know, the, the more, um, I suppose, the easier it is for Marsha then to sort of look at all these ideas and, and, and sort of wing them together in the end. Okay, well, I think enough talk for the moment. I think it's about time we start crafting. Marsha, right. shall, I, shall I pass it over to you? Pass it over to me then. Okay. okay. So, can, is, is that a gay vision? Can you see? Can, can we is see, it Ola? Is no, it no, yes, we can. It's good. All right, so yes. we have an egg box. Yeah. Over here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off, so I've got my very handy scissors over here. Um, I'm going to cut off the top. I have an egg box that is for 12 eggs because, because I eat a lot of eggs. So <laughs> therefore, of course, if you've got six eggs, then you will have to just collect them. Um, this is going to take more than one egg box. So uh, I hope people have been saving their egg boxes over the last few weeks. <laughs> this is definitely going to take more than, than those. Okay, so first of all, what I'm going to do, there's two, there's various ways uh, of cutting this. So maybe if you, if you have two egg boxes, then maybe what you do first is you cut off the top can you see these pointy bits where the eggs sort of, they, right in the middle, where the eggs sort of lean, they, they look like cones, okay? So what you can do, I'm going to start off with my scissors, but for, to make this quicker, I am going to use a craft knife. Okay, so please be careful, if you do have a craft knife, please be careful or get somebody else to do this for you. So you cut off, so you start off and you cut off the tops of these cones. It's going to take you a little while. Just Don't the worry. top, okay. I'd rather you didn't hurry and just take your time or just watch me for a little while. Okay, so I've got one of these over here. Now it's slightly... I haven't cut this very well, but that's okay because you can just chop the ends of them as you go along. Now, also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use very small pair of scissors. So I've got two scissors here. I've got one large pair and one that I use for nails and it's slightly curved. Uh, we have a question. Uh, if they don't have uh, egg boxes, is there anything else they can use as an alternative? No. Mm. That's well, this is going to be a difficult one because this is it's an egg box. Um. Uh, yeah, it's an egg box. <laughs> you, can, Craft. you can wait and uh, maybe later on I can show you how to do paper flowers. Uh, either today or maybe at another, at another time. Um, you can actually make paper flowers if you've just got some paper or some magazines. But for today I'm afraid this is an egg box challenge. So yes, yes, okay. yes. All right. So we have one cone. I'll leave that to the side. Um, do you, Marsha, Marsha, do you only, uh, do you only cut off the tip of the cones? So what you do is you try and get as close to the end of uh, ah, a yeah. long so cone. Thicker, thicker, yeah. Ah, so what I did I it wrong. Do, okay. I make a little cut. So if you only got scissors, not a craft knife, then you go make a little cut. And then you go all the way around. And then you go all the way around. And don't worry, because if it's if it's not straight, if it's very okay. slightly wonky, that is not a problem because you're going to shape these. Ah, okay. I, I did it wrong. I caught I, I cut off just a little tip. That's okay. <laughs> you're going to these. So there you go. That's what it looks like. See it's not it's not a very clean cut, but that's okay. Okay, so you've got, let's say you've, got, you've cut your cones off. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the actual um, egg box holders. You know, the actual thing that, that contains the egg. Okay, so I'm just going to go around and cut them right here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so what you get sometimes, depending on your egg box, because there's various types of egg boxes, but this one in particular that I have, one side is slightly longer than the other. That's okay, that's fine, because all of these are going to be flowers in different shapes. So, you know, not very much true to nature, but they will look very pretty once you finish. So what I do is I go around and as I, I cut them, so they're tiny little cups now. Okay, and you put them to the side. And there's another one over here. And then you will put that to the side now. I'm going to just chuck my rubbish away. Okay, so. Also, on the egg boxes, the flap bit, there's, you, you've got this little flap bit that, that closes the egg box. And a lot of the time they have, they are slightly, um, they have, well, I, I'm not quite sure what to, what, what to call it, but they've got a slight bumpy shape to them. And those are really lovely for making maybe little petals or something like that. So I'm going to cut that off as well. So I'm just going to plow through and you just catch up as and when you want. So I'm going to cut them out. You can draw them out, of course. You can draw them out before cutting them. But I'm just going to go for it. Because it's not really important whether they're exactly straight or they're exactly in the, set, uh, in the right shape. Because we're going to paint them all. So there's, there's a little flower petal. Okay, I'm going to put these to the side. Now, I have here some that I made earlier. See, all sorts of different ones. Do you want to describe them a little bit, uh, yes, Marsha? Yes, So yeah. some of them, the cones, what I have done with the cones is, so this is the, the, the end result, and this is the one I have just cut off, you can see. So with my scissors, you can either use your big ones, or I prefer to use my nail scissors, because they're ever so slightly curved, so you can get a petal shape right in there. You can just follow the curve. So, 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 Marsha, I, I have a little cup of, of cardboard where, where the egg yeah. was sitting. The, the yeah. kind of the, the edges, do I kind of cut it as a curve so that that's one petal? You, can, you know what? Or you not? can do anything you want for right. that. So, you okay. can that way. so, you've got your egg cup there, okay? So, what you can do is you can cut. Let's go back and cut lines inside the egg okay. box, okay? So you are you're cutting straight lines to the flat bit. So from, okay. from the top to the flat bit where, yeah. this, where it stands up. So you think of it as a flower. You are mm. creating a flower shape. Okay. Okay? So when you get to this flower shape over here look there you go so what you're going to do oh whoops i've just dropped mine <laughs> one second so what you're going to do with these you're going to form shape a petal by cutting off the corners you see what i'm doing here oh it's too high so i'm cutting off the corners There you go. So I, I tend to do it from, from one side first. Just one side of the petal. And then I turn it back to front. And then I do the other side of the petal. Uh, one second, Marsha. Odette, can you point what you're doing just a bit forward yeah. to see if Marsha can see? Yeah. Marsha, is this right? Oh, hold it on. Okay. Just have a look. 
That's it. So I've cut That's it. So yeah. so all the kind of so this yeah, so I've cut as you said, the little petals going down towards the middle. That's it, petals yeah. going down towards the middle. And some of them are going to be rougher than the others. So some yeah. of them you will only get a bit like like you have there. And yeah. some of them you can get quite round ones. Yeah. Here. Okay. So this is one of the ones you see. And some of them you can get round and some of them you can get quite pointy. It's a bit, I, I suppose... It's like a star shape uh, at the top. I, I suppose like daisies, sometimes they have like uh, pointy, pointy exactly. petals. Exactly. And uh, sunflowers yes. as well, don't they? They're kind of a little yes. bit... That's right. Yeah. That's right. So that, that's one of them. The, so, um, let me have a look. So those I'm going to cut into the petal shapes. Okay. There you go. So I've got my little, little daisy. I don't know whether this light is any good or not. It seems to be not that great. Um, you can be a bit closer to the screen. Okay, is that close, close enough? Yes. So, shall we, shall we try and have comments? Do we have anybody that's trying this at home? Is there anybody who's, uh, who's uh, trying to do these uh, flowers at home? I think they're probably too busy. They're too busy. <laughs> too busy. <laughs> okay. All right. So, we've got that. And then we have... And then I'm going to shape my uh, cone also. And the cones look a little bit like uh, daffodils. So the middle of a daffodil. Ah, yes, of course. Yeah. Yes, yes, that makes sense now. That, exactly, because we were ta talking about daffodils coming yes. out right now. Thank yeah. You I, I'm afraid I destroyed mine because I just, I, I, when I cut them, I did only the tip of it. So I destroyed that's okay, my... But that's okay. That's why I say if you've got lots of egg boxes. Because yeah. Not only that, so I have some left over here. They're still cone shaped. Yeah. Okay. So what I do with some of them, just ch chop the top off quite high. So you only got a little tiny bit of a cone, not as long as we had one before. And then that way you can make slightly larger um, flowers. So you don't have the side that's very short if that makes any sense do you know how the how the top of the cone of daffodils is has little has little kind of like little um, exactly. trimmings little how do you call it, little fringes little fringe, you yes. can kind of fringe, fringe it off a little bit fringe, or you can you can you can shape them yeah you can do a little fringe like you say that's a really good idea that's a fantastic, actually, idea. And then you can put, even push them back. Yes, yeah, yeah, to make them sort of flare them up, up a bit. them up mm. like this. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to move on, because I'm very much aware of the time. When you, do, when you do craft you don't th an art, you don't think of the time. It just kind of... Oh flies doesn't it the time passes <laughs> by without actually realizing that yeah. like that and and the the beauty of these is there's no right or wrong way of doing them mm -hmm. you can do them how you like you can do them pointy you can do big big petals let me have a look i've got they they'd be a really nice decoration to do for the table for for easter yes, dinner absolutely or to put your put your east do a little basket for your easter eggs yes now the <laughs> other thing that i'm going to do while i'm here is you have the the top of the egg box now we're going to do some leaf shapes ah okay so again i i have my pen my trusted pen here and i'm just going to make some 
draw some leaf shapes in there. You see? Doesn't matter how they go. You don't have to draw them in if you feel confident enough with your pair of scissors. I'm just going to make three for the minute. And I'm going to cut them out very quickly. There you go, there's a leaf shape. It's kind of like a tear, mine are sort of tear shape. But you can make your leaves how you want, absolutely how you want. You can make some of these things, so slightly longer pointy. That can also go as a, some sort of leaf. So I've got my leaves here. Okay. Form a leaf. Lovely. So I have here a few that are ready to be painted. I don't know about everybody else. <laughs> You're cheating, Marsha, you're cheating. I know. Oh, I always wanted to go and do Peter. So as I said, I keep saying here are yeah. some that I made earlier. But it is good because we, we don't really have the time to do everything from A time. to Z. This is, okay, this is a good few hours project. Yes, you but at least you've started time. us out. Yeah, yeah. It's not a five minute project. No, this no, no. Good, you're good it's, few hours. Uh, it's good, it's good. And also, a good few hours, and also, my um, while I was doing this, my hands started to hurt because I was using the scissors so mm. much. Yeah. You might need a little break in between. Okay? Yeah. A cup of tea or something, <laughs> and, uh, yes, rest your hand. So, I am ready to paint. Now, uh, Marsha, we've yeah. done we've done the the kind of the the top the, the head of the flower and some leaves. Uh -huh. What about stems then? Well, this is where the uh -huh. card comes. Ah, as you can see, they're not going to be standing up. You can make them stand up, of course. You can use, in fact, you can use if you if you want them as standing up flowers. You can use if you have any um, just randomly if you have any pipe cleaners. Oh, pipe cleaners. Okay. Oh, right. So if yeah. you've got any, this is just, you know, if, whatever you've got lying around. Yeah. Basically. So this is another way of doing them, uh, which I'll show you later on. You can have some pipe cleaners or maybe some, um, uh, or I don't know, some, some, some string even, because this is going to be a flat project rather than, than uh, a three-dimensional yeah. standing project. Yeah, okay? yeah. But you can, you can do, once you've got your basic flowers, you can do other things with them, um, like like uh, a bunch of flowers. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah. With your pipe cleaners. But for today, we are going to be making a wreath. And I, I suppose, I suppose, if somebody had a basket, they could kind of decorate the basket with the flowers all around it. Exactly. Something like that. That would be nice as well. Indeed. Indeed. But for today, I have, let me have a look, there's my bit of card. I have a bit of card here. So I'm going to just draw out a round shape, like I said. Um, you can use bowls if you want to. If you want it absolutely perfect in a round shape, you can use a bowl. And you draw around the bowl. Okay, so there's one big bowl over here. So you've got a circle here. If you're happy doing it by hand, it doesn't need to be perfect. Then you can just draw a round or a oval shape. And then one in the middle. In fact, I'm going to do, do this by hand. So a shape right in the middle. That's not a bad circle. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to cut it out. You're going to cut out the top or the bigger circle. You don't need to cut the middle circle out. I, either you can just use that for sticking your flowers on later on. Yeah, keep 
In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do with this one. I'm not going to bother cutting the middle out, but if you want a proper wreath, then cut the, the middle of the circle out. There you go. So this is going to, you're going to stick your flowers on there. Okay. So first things first. So I'm going to put that uh, to the side for the minute. And I'm going to start painting my flowers because I like painting. <laughs> and that's, that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to take one of my brushes. So I have quite a few brushes here. And what I tend to do, if, I, if I've got more than one brush, I tend to use uh, a brush for each color. So mm. that stops it stops the colors uh, mi mixing up that's if you good only yeah you've got one brush then always make sure that you wash it out properly and maybe even dry it before you you go on to another color okay so i am going to start with my cone my little cone and i'm going to paint it bright yellow and don't forget especially if you've got acrylic paint you need a bit of water, otherwise it becomes very dry. Okay, so a bit of water in there, so it's nice and smooth, so the texture is nice and smooth with the paint. I don't know whether you can see, so... Um, question, does it have to be the same colours you're using? or uh, No, not at all, you can use any colours that you have. Okay. And in fact, what I, when I don't have paint, when I run out of acrylic paint, if you have, you know, sometimes you can get testers uh, for paint uh, in the shop. So if you've got some testers lying around for, for, uh, wall, wall, for wall paint. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can use that. You can use wall paint. You can use anything that, that's, yeah, anything that has colour. Really. <laughs> but today I've got my acrylics out, so I'm going to paint this. So, do you remember how I was saying this is a very clever little trick that I have here? So, I get my peg. I'm using a peg here. Okay, and then I'm just going to hold it so your fingers don't get dirty. I never, I never thought about using a peg like that. It's ah, very clever. It's very I've good. Got a peg here. Everybody has a peg of some sort. Don't That's you? it. Yeah, Normally. yeah. Normally. And if you don't, then you can use a paper clip or even one of these bulldog clips. I think they're called bulldog clips. I'm not... Are they for paper, like paper yes, clip type yeah. things? Yeah. Or a paper clip, even a paper clip, you can, you can stick on the end of it and just use it as a holder. As a holder. Just so your fingers don't get too yeah. dirty. Or you don't transfer the colour. Okay, and don't forget to paint on the inside as well. It's not just the outside you're going to see, paint on the inside. And then maybe leave it somewhere to dry. I've got a uh, tile here. So also what I find, I am using a tile that was left over from my bathrooms. Uh, we have a question. Right? Uh, paper straws for the stem, does that work? Ah, straws for the stems. Yes, I suppose it would. I, 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 I couldn't hear that. Uh, can they use paper straws for the stem? Aha, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. And uh, will nail varnish work? Ooh. Nail varnish, that would work. That will take, I mean, you have to have a lot of nail varnish, yeah. to be fair. But yes, that could, that, that could work completely. It, that could work. The, the thing about nail varnish is that it's going to smell quite strong because you're going to have yeah. to put quite a lot of it. Make sure, make sure you have all the windows open. Yes. Even if you've got any spray paint. But Ooh. that's going to smell as well, so you need to make sure that you uh, your room is really well ventilated. Yeah. Okay. But anything that can, then you can put colour in it. You can even, even do, if you don't have that much paint, you can just do dots. Like it was suggested earlier on, you can yeah. just do dots. I, I, yeah, I tried with the crayons, but... 
on this cardboard it doesn't really show so i think i'll i'll so, leave yeah. mine like that until i i find some paint so yes. yeah i'll just leave it brown like that for the moment uh -huh. you can also do this bit and then paint them afterwards yes so you can do all of these little bits and then just paint them afterwards now don't forget about the color theory so if you have for example if you have uh uh yellow if you don't have a, any green mm -hmm. for example but you have yellow and blue you can mix the yellow a bit of your yellow paint and a bit and don't forget the brushes you need to wash them out after each time what about food uh, a bit of blue and you mix them together and hey presto you have your yellow uh, yellow you have your green sorry so yellow and blue they will make green because oh. sometimes people just don't have those those colors the, the right mm. colors if you mm. want to make orange and you have yellow and red you mix those two together and it will be orange well food dye do the job as well mm. food dyes mm. that could work that could work i don't know i haven't tried them why don't why why don't you try them and I, you'll have a look and then get back to me i think that uh, i i know some people decorate their easter eggs with food dye so if yeah. you put a bit of water you put a few drops a bit of water yeah. use yeah. it a bit like ink and uh, yeah. paint wash it should work i think that should work yeah. as long as you don't make the paper too wet yeah and if if it's very light color if it comes out very light, let it dry. Again, with your hair dry, you can use your hair dry to speed up the process if you can't wait. Let it dry and then reapply the colour. But I think that's a great idea. Whoever thought of that was very clever. <laughs> I like that. I like that very much. So I've got my little... Um, I don't think the colours are coming out very well on this camera. There you go. There you go. Now, what you can do with with these leaves as well, if you've got a darker colour, or maybe a different colour. I have some gold here that I really like. Ah, oh, gold, nice. I'm going to go for the gold. So you I'm can go to, for the bling. So I've got a little green leaf over here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a line or right down the middle, just like a leaf would have, and then little little bits coming up on each side. To represent a leaf it doesn't have to be realistic it just has to give you an impression there you go you know where you can see it can see that. there you go and the the colors they don't need to be realistic you can make the leaves pink if that's what you have you can make the leaves blue if that's what you yeah. have it's your own project you can do whatever you like with it okay so we have some that I have made earlier. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, you, ha yes. you, you have to do that kind of I thing. Have to do that. You I have to. You have to. We have, have. We have to, have to stay I real. <laughs> so I have all of these very tiny little flowers over here, different shapes, as you can see. Some of them have very are kind of slightly malformed but that's okay because we can hide them and then i'll have some leaves over here there you are and then i have a couple of these bits which are i've painted them gold just for, mm. just for fun you can do them any color any shape you gotta have fun in the end you've got to have fun in the end <laughs> Exactly, exactly. So you can either use for the next bit, don't forget, actually, this is one bit that I did forget. So what you need to do is you need to paint your bit of card. Okay, so either you can paint it green or actually you can paint it any color that you want. So this is going to be your base. This is where you're going to stick your flowers on in various shapes. This is how I'm going to do it. Okay, so you paint paint your, your bit of card. Okay, and then I'm going to 
plug in my glue gun because that's what I'm going to be using today. But you can use you can use any kind of glue that you want. For that glue, um, I also Marsha, Marsha, yes. do you have a, do you have a recipe to make homemade glue? Ah, a recipe to make homemade glue. Well. If you have some corn flour, then that can be used a little bit like wallpaper paste, the yes. old fashioned of making wallpaper paste. So a bit of corn flour, a bit, uh, bit of water. A bit of water, but just make sure it's very, very thick. Yeah. And, and that, would, right. that would sort of be out as, as glue, it, won't it? That, that kind of works as glue. Uh, it's not very... Um, stable glue so it, it, it it's not the best glue that you can use <laughs> but if uh if that's all you have yeah why try that why not try that you can the only glue that you really cannot use is super glue mm. super glue and paper they don't work oh i didn't know that oh. no it doesn't because it's too porous it has nothing to grip on However, oh. if you have egg boxes which are made out of plastic, you know how we were saying yes. these are these are paper, okay, yeah. but you do get plastic egg boxes. Yeah, yeah. Now those are the ones that will work with super glue. Oh. Okay. However, <laughs> uh, food coloring or 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 um, crayons will not work on plastic. Mm. So uh, true. Decide, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So only acrylic paint will work on plastic. That it won't yeah. come off. Yeah. But very runny paint. It's it's just going to drip off the plastic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so I've got my bits and pieces here, and I'm going to, and don't forget, you need to make sure that your brushes they don't go go dry. I left my brush here on the side and it's going to slightly dry so make sure that you put them back in water and wash them out because you really don't want to be wasting your brushes okay and i've got that one over here all right i am going to be moving on with sticking we have a few more minutes yeah 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 We've got a few more minutes. Yeah. yeah but we need to finish, finish off. Okay, well, now that you have painted, let's say this is, you know, a few hours has passed now. <laughs> you have painted, you have dried your, your creations, you've got your flowers, you've got your petals, you've got your leaves. And you have your, your bit of card. And this is what's going to happen. You're now going to stick... So you can use glue, just normal glue on the back. So if you were just using normal glue, by the way, you don't need to paint the bottom of your flowers at all because nobody's going to see that. That's going to be stuck down. So you don't really need to paint on that. However, with your leaves and your bed of card, I like to paint both sides just in case it's hanging somewhere where you can see side the sides of it <laughs> just to finish it off so with the leaves i paint both sides you see because you can see that bit of the the reef so you can put a dollop of glue on your oh this this doesn't seem to work That's why I have my trusted glue gun glue. <laughs> okay, so it's just always... the dollop of glue on the back. So the glue, this is a hot glue gun, but as I said, you can get a cold glue gun, which means that you don't burn your fingers. If you are using a hot glue gun, please make sure you don't put your fingers on the glue because it will really burn. Is it, is it hotter than, uh, than wax, you know, than liquid wax it, from a candle? Well, it's about as hot as is that. that. Yeah. And it sticks as well. Oh, so yes. So do burn your fingers. Make sure you run straight 
to the fridge or the freezer, get a piece <laughs> yeah. of ice out, yeah. or get your cold tap on and stick that finger underneath the cold tap. Okay, do, we don't want any hospital visits after this, please. Okay. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not with I'm not responsible for that. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to um, attach some of these on my piece of card. And this is where your artistic talents will come in. You don't need to do them all in a row. The more spaced out they are, the better they, they possibly will look. And with the leaves, can you see what I have done here? So the leaves are sticking out. Ah, oh, that's better. The light is better there. Okay. So we've got the sticky outer leaves. So while Marsha is finishing, can we have comments, viewers, can you let us know, have you done any craft during lockdown? Have you tried to be creative? Let us know what, what you've been doing as well. Yes. Do we have any comments, Sola? Uh, at this point, I think they're probably just trying to finish they're off. They're trying to finish off, <laughs> yeah. They're trying to finish off, that's okay, they don't yeah. need to hurry. They don't need to hurry. Exactly. Now there's one, the, more, the, one more one more thing that I can add to this. Asked. Just if anyone has, for example, some um, glitter lying around. Mm. Some people have glitter li lying around. Some people might have it left over from Christmas <laughs> or something like that. A party. <laughs> party, exactly. So some of the petals, not all of them, but some of the petals might might make it a little bit more exciting if we uh, let me just get right. I'm going to use one of my egg cups for this. So I put a little bit of of glue in my egg cup, and this is the runny glue. I'm not using my trusted glue gun here because it dries way too fast. Mm -hmm. So I've got a little bit of glue here. And I'm going to go over the edges of this little flower shape. And there you go. So over the edges quickly. So maybe I hang around. And these are just ideas that you can use if you want to. There you go. And then I get... Well, I must, I must say I never thought about an egg box turning into flowers. Ah, <laughs> yeah. There that's, you go. Uh, yeah, that's new for me. That's interesting. And then we can do, so you've got your, your glue on there. You've got your, your glue. And what I tend to do is I, I get a little bit of... There you go. A little bit of my glitter. And because I'm using a tile from the bathroom, nothing really sticks. A tile is really good because it doesn't, even if you have paint on it, yeah. even if it's acrylic, which tends to come off really badly, you need to make sure that you don't get it on your clothes and don't get it on the table because you will find it hard to take it off. But on a tile, because the surface is so smooth, you can wash it off afterwards. It just peels off, doesn't it? It peels off, yeah, yeah, under hot water. So I've got my, my little egg shape, and I'm just going to dip it. You can dip it, or if you fancy it, you can just paint it on. There you go. You can see. It's very glittery. <laughs> I don't know whether you can see it underneath the light or not, but there you go. All right, so I'm going to glue that onto my reef. Onto my Easter one. And I'm just going to put it over here, I think. There you go. Okay, so that's one of them. And you can fill them up as you want. You can make them completely so you can't see the back of it depending on how many egg boxes you have here hmm. okay so i've got one of these you can also so that's that's one piece you can also 
Here's the one I made earlier. <laughs> yes, yes, let's have a okay. look. Let's have a okay. look. So this is a piece of card that I found from inside, actually. This was inside a box of biscuits and it was already black. Uh -huh. Okay. And what I did is I took some, some branches out of my garden. I don't know whether you can see, see them. They're not very, um, they, they don't show up very well in this light. And I painted some of them gold. And I've yeah. got some branches and see these are the, the little egg cups. So we have some, some flowers over here that I that I've stuck on uh, with the glue gun. And there's a little, little leaf shape as well. Fantastic. And can, yeah, and if you put if you put holes in there, maybe using a hole puncher or something, or maybe you're um, using your scissors, and then you can hang it on the wall or anywhere else you want. Mm. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Mar Marsha. That's been a really interesting. Uh, well, thank you for having me. Um, I hope no. I hope people. Uh, Go off and, and do their crafting. Yes, and, and, and I would love to see. I don't know about you, but I would love to see what people have been can, doing. If they, yes. they do something like this, why don't they send us a photo? Do yes, if you can take a photo with your smartphone, you can email it to us, share it with us. Um, I've done. I didn't have any glue, but I've kind of done a kind of a uh, cut my oval shape and did like a decoration with the, the leaves That's lovely. and the, the flowers. Really and I, you know what, I actually really like the fact that some of them are not painted. They're, they're you know what, painted. I thought as well, it just kind of uh, makes it natural in a way. Ah, and I like the card, the, the, the back of the card is it's red, isn't it? And yes. It's sort of natural egg, egg box color. It's very, it's very organic. Yes, yes, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I just need a few chocolate Easter eggs around there. Yeah, a great idea. <laughs> nice. There you go. There's another idea. You can make yeah. a presentation with little chocolate eggs. Yeah, be yeah. really nice. Well, we have some comments uh, yeah, on our. Um, we have someone saying they like the red idea, and you could also add some real leaves too. Some real Into leaves, the, yeah, yeah, good idea. And then Anna Marie's been making birthday cards during. Ah, birthday cards. So that's a really nice that way is. to use craft, isn't it? It's fantastic way of doing that. Well, um, thank you, Marsha. I think that's all we have time for. Uh, thank you for joining us. My thank favorite. you for showing us this. And I hope that everybody will come and join your, your classes when, when lockdown finishes. And I think Ola has something for us, haven't you? Uh, yes. Uh, so it's just a quick, uh, not announcement, but it's just for everyone to know that in support of the World Book day we are giving two lucky followers the opportunity to win a free copy of a global bestseller called start with why by simon was it simon sinek i'm just going to put a picture of it so everyone can see it um so uh you do have to do something to win obviously to enter into the competition so each winner will be able to choose um, whether they want an audio version or a paperback version for delivery uh, there are two ways you can enter you can enter via our twitter page which is at croydon vision or our instagram page which is croydon underscore vision i've already put the information on the facebook page you will also find it on our page and in the comments uh, so you guys have fun with it and uh, wish you guys luck. Okay, well, all the, all the best. I hope you enter the competition and try and win this book. Sounds really interesting. Hmm. And do join us next week because next week we have, um, we're going to be actually for the first time going out of Croydon Vision and we're going to go into somebody's home. We're going to see Shalini and she's going to teach us how and show us how to do a fish curry. And she's from Mauritius. 
So we'll be talking about Mauritius. She'll be uh, telling us a little bit about her country, a little bit about the customs, and she'll be um, and Ola is going to be at her house filming her in her kitchen, and she'll demonstrate how to do fish curry. So I hope you'll join us next week, and um, do keep those comments coming in. See you and next also, week. May I just interrupt? And also ideas for the coffee. Oh lounge. yes, of course. Please, please do Some remember. Ideas, please. Yes, ideas for I am, I can, we can for the coffee lounge decoration. And I, I will sort of send some some emails out as well for people That's to great. to think about, you know, giving us some ideas. So bye bye for now. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.